How's it going? Good, thank you, Nish. Hello, Bob. I assume I open the box. Uh, is this a trick with the, like, locks? The... No? <laughs> a coconut, the largest of all the nuts. <laughs> uh, so the task is presumably in here. Well, no, I don't know. Something's in here. It's not immediately clear how to open this, but then I'm not the sort of person to own a briefcase. I mean, if you went to work with that, you'd be sacked immediately. <laughs> I, I imagine that you would press these things down and it would sort of snap open. I don't know how to open this and I don't quite know what to do with the card. Um, Make this coconut look like a businessman. <laughs> Make this coconut look like a businessman. Hang on. Does it have to be a businessman? Or for once, could we open up the idea and call it a business person? You can interpret businessman however you like. I will interpret it as sexist. You have ten minutes to plan your coconut businessman and then ten minutes to make him. Your time starts now. Ah! There we go. Hey, cool. Right, we're in the way. Oh, it's a task. Oh, it's a coconut. Do you know how long it took him to, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's obviously my first question, yeah. yeah. It took him six minutes to crack the code. <laughs> The code was zero, 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 and it was on zero, zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I accept looking at the other people that it was openable. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, up next, it's Ashling B. Yes. Also asked for equipment. Mm hmm And we can see your business person now. Thank you. It's interesting, actually, yes. you made a very valid point uh, about the sexist nature of the task. Yes. But the first thing I noticed was the cracking pair of boobs on it. You absolute pig, Greg. <laughs> it reflects very badly on me, you're right. Well, then this one is for you. Let me talk you through. So this is a coconut business lady. <laughs> uh, she's not afraid to have an outfit that makes the most of her figure. No, sure. Yeah, she's wearing red lipstick uh, to draw the male attention so she can probably fire them. She's also got loads of coconut water around her, which is, yes, her own blood, because she's a coconut. <laughs> 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 and then, at gunpoint, she's forcing three subservient male businessmen to drink her own blood <laughs> during a general meeting at the office. <laughs> and that, sir, is my business person. We can zoom in slightly on her face. Face, please, Alex. <laughs> you said she was 58 years old and an app creator. And an app creator, yeah, she creates 58? Apps. She's taken a time. And she's actually. armed. <laughs> That's why she's got so much hair on her face. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a furry face delight. Thank you. You used to call me that. I did. <laughs> Until I came to despise you. <laughs> and who's next? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> uh oh I already know I'm going to be brilliant at this. Well, I don't know, really. I don't know about this already. This looks scary. Hello, Bob. Hi there. Muster the biggest coconut bobsleigh team. Most coconut bobsleigh team members still on board when their bobsleigh comes to a halt wins. You may only use items in the caravan to secure your coconut. You'll be disqualified. That's interesting. You'll be disqualified if you use any item used by another contestant. Impossible to know what they've used, though, of course. You've 20 minutes and one attempt. Your time starts now. To the caravan. <laughs> it is amazing how some games on this show um, can just give us a brief window into the souls of the competitors. <laughs> I've written down everything that, that they said. Bob said nothing, he just got on with it. Uh, Ashling said, I already know I'm going to be brilliant at this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is incredible. Mark said, oh, I don't know about this. Uh, Sally said, this looks scary. And Nish went, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going to see first? We're going to have a look, first of all, just to see how to do it. Mark Watson. Ah, dear. Mm. <laughs> By point, there's a coconut harness in here. If you deployed this correctly, you could put uh, quite a lot of coconuts in it and tape it to the uh, skateboard. This is like a prisoner's dilemma or something. 
We might all think we're all, that everyone's going to do it, and then no one does it. Right, let's think about it. There's still plenty of time. Uh, there's an apron here. I don't... Ah, oh, blue tape. I found some blue tape. It is basically about going completely virgin and just shoving all the coconuts on and hoping for the best, which is not the worst way of doing it. Oh, there we go. Now, that's what we don't... That's what we don't want to happen. I mean, that's more than you'd have in a real bobsleigh team, I think. Oh, this is heavy. It mustn't upturn. If it upturns, we do have a problem. And stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on! Stay on! <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Well done, boys. If anyone gets disqualified, then I've, I've beaten them. Well, thank you, Mark. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some pretty powerful motivational shit you were shouting there. <laughs> I had the idea that more of them would stay on if I yelled that at them, and we'll never know because we didn't do a trial experiment. Just stay on as well. Stay on. Stay on. Stay, stay on. on. Sometimes I say it to myself when I'm just like trying to not. Sort of... <laughs> yeah. I should say it didn't have to cross the finishing line. It was when the skateboard came to a halt. Yeah. Uh, nevertheless, yeah, he put 19 on. The harness would have held 18. Yeah. Two stayed on. I admit it's not a great score, but uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm basically it's a really score, hoping... though. It's, it's yeah. a score. I'm hoping mm. that maybe someone uh, didn't do that. Hi, Alex. Oh, hello, Bob. Whew. Oh, heavy door today. Yes. You all right? This old chestnut. Coconut. <laughs> Get this coconut as far from here as possible. You may not touch the ground. I am touching the ground. You're touching the rug at the moment. You're, you're OK at the moment. You may not step on anything more than once. The coconut may not travel by car. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. So I, I, I can't touch the ground? No, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Right, OK. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. At this moment in time, I'm thinking of throwing it. Mm. <laughs> I, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> the main rule here is you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to step on the ground at any point. You're not allowed to touch the ground. But you're only allowed to step on one thing once. So right now, I'm stepping on this carpet. That's fine, I can move around on it. But once I'm off it, I can't get back on it, so I'm now stranded on a chair. Mm. So I would... Sweet butt. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason I stood on the chair. <laughs> so that's the rules. You have to get the coconut as far away as possible without stepping on the ground or anything else more than once. Who's next? Last up, it's Philip Sally's. <laughs> <laughs> I may not touch the ground, but you may touch the ground, Alex. Yes, I can touch the ground. I would like to ask you to take this coconut to the post office and post it to my friend in Fiji. Um, what's in it for me? What's in it for you? Mm. What, are you a good, are you a good demanding payment, are you? Are you? I could tattoo you, if you like. I could draw all over your arse a pastoral scene. Oh, I'll just take the coconut. Yeah, you take the coconut to the post office. I'll give you my credit card. And you oh, can okay. pay for the whole thing, like a box. Mm. It's, it's in my bag. Oh, you want me in to go there? Get I want you to go get my bag, yeah. Okay, you're just going to sit on the table? I'm going to sit on the table. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Maybe I'll send it to the Prime Minister of Fiji. The Prime Minister of Fiji, fourth floor government buildings, new wing, Fiji. Right, I need Good to Good work. Quickly. Speed. Right. Prime Minister of Fiji. And the great thing about this is it requires such little effort from myself. Amazing. Um, did it make it to Fiji? No, I, it made it to East Sheen Post Office, where I was told uh, there's a list of restricted items that you can send to Fiji. <laughs> Fresh fruit and flowers, roots, crops, rice, mushrooms and coconuts. <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm not an expert, but something tells me Fiji's probably got coconuts covered. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sally. <gasps> 
I see the task is on the um, coconut. Make the best coconut flinging machine. You have 20 minutes and one attempt. Furthest coconut fling wins. Your time starts now. OK, I'd better go and have a look in the shed. So I have, to, I have to make a machine to get this as far as possible. Is that what it says? So presumably I can't just pick it up and chuck it. Are you a machine? No. <laughs> uh, OK, so I've got to make a machine. Right. It's a sort of classic taskmaster fodder, really, isn't it? Five well-educated people <laughs> constructing a machine to fire a coconut as far as possible. And let's take a look at Bob and Mark constructing their flingers. Now, I'm not very mechanically minded, so I'm... I'm what not... are you looking for? That's the problem. I'm just looking around for any obvious coconut flinging devices, first of all. <laughs> I can practice, yeah? Yes. Where do I do my flinging? Wherever you want, Bob. Hmm. I'm going to give this a go. Just see what's... You know what I mean? OK. Let's see what the feeling of it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, hi. How will you know that the coconut's been flung? Oh, like, I'll be watching. Yeah, but I mean... What's the actual... What designates What do you think flinging fling? means? Well, flinging means throwing, really, doesn't it? Have you seen machines? Tell me the most basic machine you've ever seen. That's a nice fit. I'm ready to do it. OK. <laughs> I put it to you, Mark, that a hat is not a machine. <laughs> Your other hat was more a machine, the one who paid 400 quid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I did find evidence on the internet that a hat can be a machine, which I then sent to Alex. You did Who? send me a link to a site which it seemed like there was evidence that machines could include hats. Do you want to see it? It's called Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and the entrant on machines, the final word there, you can see a list of machines. <laughs> <laughs> Computers, television, <laughs> radio, and hats. See, the thing is, my instinct is that the crutch is more of a machine. Well, it's metal and it had moving parts. It's metal, that it's got I moving parts. And you utilise classes. one of the moving parts. Yeah. <laughs> OK, here are the machine <laughs> and hat in action. Yep. Good luck, Bob. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, it's a distance that you can measure. You hit my clock. used his crutch, uh, and you saw it struck my clock. It actually turned the clock off. I don't know if you want to factor that in. And it Jesus. went 16 metres and 20 Ooh. centimetres. Mm. Bath-based task, or there's been an awful case of fly tipping from someone over there. Bit of a shit out West Ham, didn't it? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be nice. Good morning. Hello, Catherine. Thanks for inviting me to your dojo. Welcome to the gazebo. It's a lovely place to be. Ready? Oh yeah. Are you? No. I'm really nervous. Either throw an exercise ball into the bath or put all the coconuts in the shopping trolley. You must throw the exercise ball while under a roof, and you may not, Alex, move the bath. You must not touch any of the coconuts with your hands. You may not move the shopping trolley. Where are the coconuts? Where are the coconuts? The fastest wins, um, and my time starts now. Some lovely uh, champion outfits that you made yourselves there. Yeah. Very nice, confident, evoking the spirit of 1966. Yeah. <laughs> you all look lovely, except for Bob. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing a bit of gardening, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh Whittacombe's uh, last. Yeah. That means one of two things on this show. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's now time to see the inaugural champion of Taskmaster. Here we go, Josh Whittacombe's attempt. That's impossible. <laughs> so this isn't touching them with my hands. God. This is it. Stop the clock. Ooh. Well done, Josh. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Be honest, <laughs> was I quicker than Noel? <laughs> I'm sure. No, I, that... think, I think the standard has improved over the years, hasn't yeah. it, as a champion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the estate of Bobby Moore would be so proud seeing you in that outfit. <laughs> Carrying eight coconuts at a time to a shopping trolley. Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.